Hi guys, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless, and one of my subscribers, Jay Jefferson, requested that I do a pop-out tutorial. Even though he knows it's been done, for some reason he likes the way that I teach, so I'm going to give it a shot. So let's get started. So I pulled this photo. I thought a little more of an abstract or graffiti-like or some kind of fun tutorial would be good rather than just a person in the pop-out. So I thought this will be a nice change of pace and I pulled this from Pixabay and if you want to use the same photo I did put the link below. So in order to save time I masked the astronaut. We turn on the mask and you'll see it's just a rough mask. I wasn't even trying to be that careful but you'll see all darkness around here but it won't matter in this case and I'll show you why later. So I like to always keep my original separate so what I want to do is I'm going to take this controller command J and move it up to the top and I also want to keep the full background controller command J and I'm going to move that one to the top and now I'm going to hide my originals so we don't need to work with them. So now what you see is we actually have two, one on top of another, one with a mask. So now I'm going to the top layer and adding a rectangle in front of it. So let's just do something like that. And I'm going to duplicate that rectangle. So Control or Command J. Now I have two rectangles. Then I'm going to take that one and I'm going to shrink it down. And I'm holding my command key so it shrinks down on all sides, just like that. And I can move it in or out, but it works on all sides. And when I think I got a nice little bit of a frame, I'll let go. So now I have two, one on top of the other. And if I select the two, I'm going to hold the first one, hold shift and hold the second layer, click on the second layer. And I go up here and I have subtract. I put this up here, but if you don't see it, you can go to layer geometry and subtract. I'm just going to do it right here. It's easier for me. And what it does is it creates a cutout from the first one to the second one. So that's all we need there and that works out pretty nicely. Next I'm going to go to the live perspective tool. I could go to the regular perspective but I want to just be, use the live one and then I'll rasterize it later just in case I need to fix anything. So now I'm going to go to my live filter tool while this is selected and I'm going to go live filter perspective and a perspective box comes up and we want to make sure destination is showing here when it says mode so I'm going to just grab these corners and bring them down and you could decide I'll bring this up here to hide that a little bit and you can decide how far in you want to be on this photo you can even come out on the bottom if you want just like that which I think that's what I'll do a little bit and I kind of think that looks pretty good and so that's it and we close that up so now with that background here you need to rasterize it and I'll show you why later because later on on one of the versions we're going to be cutting out some of it so let's rasterize it I'm and I'm going to duplicate it control or command J and hide the one below it and take that one on top and I am going to take my freehand selection tool and select this right on top here so that I could do straight lines as I do it and all I'm going to do is inside the frame I'm going to just hey guys at this point in the recording my microphone cut out so I had to do voiceovers so if I sound a little robotic I really do apologize so let's continue click click click, click, and click. So I made a selection on the inside here, but I really don't want that. I want the selection on the other side. So I go up here and I go to select, uh, invert selection, and then now it shows that the selection is on the outside. So now what I'll do is I'll do Control or Command X to delete it, then I'll do Control or Command D to deselect it. So next I'm going to take that cutout astronaut and put him on top of everything. Now I'm going to make the wider background visible. Then I'm going to go up to the astronaut's mask because I don't want his foot to be showing outside the frame. Once I select the mask, I'm going to go to the selection marquee tool and select rectangle. 
and then I'll put a rectangle right here at the bottom, right from the edge of the frame down, and then I will paint that mask with black to make it disappear. Then I'll deselect. So now what I'd like to do is choose some colors from the background. I'll take the shape tool and use rectangle and cover the whole thing. Then I'm going to turn the visibility off because I need to see the colors in the back. Then I'll use the gradient tool and on top instead of solid I will do linear and I will choose colors from the background. First I think I'll choose a little bit one of these grays and I think that looks pretty good and then after that I think I'd like to choose one of these turquoise or aqua colors and then I will make the gradient visible again and put it behind like that and I'll start moving them around and get them into a position where I think it'll look good. So we're going to move that behind the photograph of the background that we cut out. So now instead of just doing a simple pop-up, I think I wanted to make it a little bit special. I will make the other one visible and then I am going to select that and go up to the gear tool and I'm going to select the blend options and blend options is just like blend if in Photoshop and I'm going to pull this end down and then maybe put a point in the middle and make sure it's not linear and then I'm going to play around until I think it looks just right and I want to get rid of most of that background and just show some of the highlights in there so now I'm going to add a mask to that layer that background layer and I would have wide soft brush I'm gonna make it pretty wide and I'm going to paint in black on that mask and start getting rid of the things that I don't want and the reason I made a wide soft brush is I want it to fade on the edges so you just keep going till you think it looks right now if you just slide up a little you just want a little bit of fading on the top so it doesn't look like a flat edge so if you go off just a little bit it gives it a nice effect so remember I told you in the beginning I made a quick selection of this astronaut and I don't like the way that little sparkle looks on his that bright sparkle looks near his hand so I'm going to select his mask and with a small brush I'm just gonna kind of fade it out just a little bit here and there just to make it blend in a little bit more And I think that's pretty good. So let's get a look at the whole picture. Now remember, if you wanted to change the colors in the back, you can. So all you need to do is hit the gradient tool again. And for example, if I want that green to be a little bit darker, I could select that green and then darken it up a little. And when I, if I want to change the gray, I select the other node and I go to the grays. And it looks like the grays are more in the blue family and I'm going to bring them into the green family. That makes it look much better in my eyes. So I think that's it. I thought it would be more interesting rather than pop out features like a person or an animal. I thought this would be a kind of interesting thing and then add some of the features in the background of the photo and let them float up to the top also. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you did, please click like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching. Bye.